again, a little bit more complex, and there is a fraction, so we're going to get rid of that first. So start out by multiplying both sides by negative 7, which tells me that I immediately need to reverse the sign. So negative 7 times negative 3 times x minus 4 over negative 7 plus negative 7 times negative times 3 times 9 minus 2x. Reverse the inequality symbol. Greater than or equal to negative 7 times 4 minus x. Okay, this cancels. That gives me negative 3 times x minus 4. And this is negative 7 times 3, so that's minus 21 times 9 minus 2x. It's greater than or equal to negative 7 times 4, that's negative 28. Negative 7 times negative x, that's plus 7x. So now I just need to do some more simplification. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 4 is plus 12. Negative 21 times 9 is negative 189. Negative 21 times negative 2x is plus 42x. And this is negative 28 plus 7x. Can't really do anything with that. Okay. Now, I'm going to combine like terms. And I do have some like terms. I have a negative 3x and 42x. Combining those, I'm going to get 39x. Negative 189 plus 12 is negative 177. Next step is to isolate the x. So I'm going to add 177 to both sides. And that's going to give me 177 minus 28 plus 7x. Subtract 7x from both sides. 39x minus 7x is greater than or equal to 177 minus 28. Combine like terms to get 39x minus 7x is 32x is greater than or equal to 149. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 32, and that's a positive number. So it just becomes x is greater than or equal to 149 divided by 32. Using set notation, x is greater than or equal to 149 over 32. You could also graph this. This is approximately equal to 4.7. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It's going to be a little over halfway between 4 and 5. Close circle and graph it. OK, so first step was to eliminate the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by negative 7 and reversing the inequality symbol. Once that was done, using the distributive property to multiply everything out and get rid of the parentheses, then using the addition and subtraction principles and combining like terms to simplify this equation, this inequality. And the result was x is greater than or equal to 149 over 32. That concludes this lesson on solving inequalities at educator.com. See you again.